What do you need to know to pass the Part 107 remote pilot test in 2023? I've compiled feedback from hundreds of students who have taken my remote pilot test prep course this year to find out which knowledge areas the FAA is focusing on, which ones maybe not so much, and which questions have tripped people up. And we'll go over all of that in this video. And this isn't meant to be a comprehensive rundown of every single topic that's on the remote pilot test in 2023, but I do wanna highlight some topics that past students were surprised by or maybe weren't expecting. This remote pilot test prep course was last updated three months ago here in May of 2023, and I update it constantly to ensure that you're getting the most current, accurate material. It includes 37 no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point videos accompanied by text outlines, diagrams, a study sheet, and over 300 practice questions throughout the course, including real FAA questions. I'm available via live chat for your questions when at my office and priority email response otherwise. We also offer a full money-back guarantee. We'll refund both your course fee and your testing fee if you don't pass the test on the first try. But I'm confident that you will after this course. Our students have an average score of 92%, and you can learn more at photocourses.link 107 and get 20% off with the code TUBE20. Perhaps the biggest surprise we're seeing are all the questions about CRM or crew resource management. This is a program or a mindset that started in manned aircraft and the FAA wants pilots of unmanned aircraft to be aware of this also. And it's all about reducing accidents. This was actually my specialization in grad school, aviation safety. And the whole mantra throughout that whole time was that accidents just don't happen. Someone, somewhere, from the aircraft designers, those on the assembly line, the maintainers, air traffic control, to the operators, one of those people did something either intentional or unintentional to cause an accident. So crew resource management is a practice to try to eliminate as many chances of that happening as possible. You'll wanna be familiar with all of these topics. Aeronautical decision-making or ADM, which is a process of risk management. That's actually a test question. Situational awareness, safety management systems, operational pitfalls, effective crew communication, and hazardous attitudes. We're not gonna go in depth into each one of these in this video, that's beyond the scope of what we're discussing here, but that is an entire lesson in our remote pilot test prep course, and I'll also link to some free resources in the video description where you can read more about those. We are seeing a lot more new and detailed test questions about these topics. In case you've been living under a rock, the FAA is implementing new rules for remote ID and operations over people. You will see test questions about both remote ID and operations over people. Be familiar with the different kinds of remote ID and the requirements for the four categories of operations over people. Some of the questions specifically asking what kind of information is transmitted with remote ID and where your aircraft serial number needs to be listed when operating under these rules. Night flying is another new-ish rule that's not on a lot of the older study guides out there. We can fly at night now if we meet the requirements. And you don't just need to know the requirements for having an anti-collision strobe. People have been reporting a lot of questions about night physiology, such as maintaining your night vision, night visual illusions, and some night operational considerations. Drug and alcohol use is another topic that you'll likely see questions about. You can still fly if you have a drug or alcohol conviction on your record, but the FAA wants to make sure you know the caveats with that. What happens if you get a conviction after you have your remote pilot certificate? And what are the rules regarding mixing flying with drug and alcohol use? Weather or no weather. Some of my students have said, I didn't have any TAF reading questions at all, so you can probably remove that from your course entirely, while other students have said, 
I can't believe how many TAF reading questions that I had on that test and I froze on them. That just goes to show how random these tests are. But if you hear from people that there aren't any weather report questions, that might have been true for them, but may not be true for you. So be sure that you're still studying those weather reports. Charts are still important and will always be important. They still take up a big portion of all test questions. And there are countless resources on the internet to help you read aeronautical charts. But one of the challenges is then applying what you read on the chart to questions and situations that you might be presented with. Don't let that fall out of your studies while you're studying all of these other things. Some of the tricky questions you may see on the test are in regards to frequencies, knowing which frequencies are which, your weather frequencies, common traffic advisory frequency, or CTAF, and also Unicom and Multicom frequencies. This is a question that has been tripping people up, so know what the Unicom frequency is as well as Multicom. So those are some of the things that you'll need to know to pass your remote pilot test here in 2023. Again, there are countless resources on the internet to help you study these topics. I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of these as they might make the difference between a pass and a fail. Knowing how to take an FAA test can also make that difference. So I'd recommend my FAA test taking tips video that I'll link here so that you can see what those are. If you do want a structured course to take you through all of these topics, check out our course at photocourses.link 107 and take 20% off with the coupon code tube20. In that course, there's a community where you can chat with students who have recently taken their test and pick their brains on what that test was like. Good luck, I know you'll do great. Please let me know if you have any questions or anything to add down in the comments.